Proper maintenance of roller assemblies for the FlexPro peristaltic metering pump will increase tube life and reduce time and money spent on maintenance. On the right is an example of a poorly maintained roller assembly. We will take a look at how to properly care for these components. First, let's break down which spacers are required for the three different FlexPro pump roller assemblies. The largest roller assembly requires one thick spacer in the front and one in the back. The medium size assembly for the A3 and M3 pump requires just one slim spacer in the back. The small A2, M2 pump requires the same as the A4 and M4 pump, one thick spacer in the front and one thick spacer in the back. Note, upon shipment, the front spacer is attached to the pump head cover. Before we get started, here is your checklist of supplies. Degreaser, any household brand will do. A rag, a scrub sponge. Silicon oil lubricant, available at your local hardware store. High temp grease, also something you can pick up at your local hardware store. And then don't forget a brush, you'll need that to apply the grease. Remove the pump head cover. Press the start button to have the pump initiate a slow rotor rotation. This is called the maintenance mode. Once you've removed the tube assembly, press stop. Slide the roller assembly from the motor shaft. Take note of the white spacers. This pump only has one in the back. If you're working with the large A4 M4 pumps, you'll notice the shaft extension still inside the roller assembly when it's pulled from the pump head. You can knock this out with a screwdriver and a mallet. Remove any debris, chemical, and grease from the roller assembly with your degreaser and rag. You'll want to verify the rollers are free spinning. Any seizing of these parts will cause extra friction and wear on the tubes. Wipe chemical, grease, and debris from the interior of the pump head and motor shaft with the degreaser and rag. Be sure the TFD sensor pins are also intact and clear of debris. They're located at the bottom back of the pump head. Take the scrub sponge and remove any tough buildup. This buildup can lead to added tube wear if left unmaintained. The roller assembly is made of two squeeze rollers and two guide rollers. The larger squeeze rollers contain bearings. Place a drop of silicone oil at the end of the rollers to lubricate these bearings. It's also a good idea to lubricate the guide rollers too, making sure they're free spinning. Clean off any excess oil that may have ended up on the surface of the rollers themselves. Tube assemblies and silicon oil don't mix.
In order to grease the motor shaft, press start to turn on the maintenance mode. This gets the shaft spinning at a low RPM. Take your high temp grease and paint it onto the motor shaft. Now, grease up any spacers. Time to reassemble. Place your newly cleaned and oiled roller assembly onto the shaft. After pressing start, insert a new tube assembly. Now replace the cover. We recommend cleaning your pump head and roller assembly as often as you change your tubes. Proper maintenance will extend tube life and reduce maintenance costs. Now throw that pump back into the field.